festival of praise and worship virtual experience blessings and honor and majesty and power and dominion worship and thanksgiving we ascribe to our living god his goodness is beyond measure we're so blessed to be alive and blessed to have the opportunity to minister in song to you but this time not in a concert hall but thanks be to god he's given us a very creative way this time we are right there with you in your home this is the new normal and we're praying that god will use us to minister even more frequently so that we will all give praise and worship to god Beloved, this is the virtual edition of our praise and worship. We call it Four Power, a festival of praise and worship. It is a joy for us to minister, and we pray that you will enjoy it too. Before we do so, however, please remember, COVID has been devastating. COVID-19 has attacked us like the way an army of locusts has attacked East Africa. By God's grace, however, the effect has not been as devastating as it could have been. And this is all by grace. By grace, because God has led our leaders, our president, His Excellency, Nana Dudankwa Ekufuado, together with the COVID-19 team of eminent doctors and politicians to give us the right things to do. The frontline workers have been superb and continue to lay their lives on the line for you and for me. Let me ask you, have you been following the protocols? Do you wash your hands frequently with soap under running water? You must. What about sanitizer? Do you use your sanitizers often where you cannot get running water to wash your hands? And sometimes even after you have washed your hands. What about your hard surfaces in your office and at home? Do you cleanse them? And the very important social distancing. I know it's difficult. You're so used to walking with friends and patting them on the back and talking as you walk along can't do so anymore. But have you been keeping social distancing? You can see us that we are practicing social distance. We found a way out. So we've kept the same meters that we're supposed to keep. It makes us look like a very big choir, but there's a lot of space in between us. Meanwhile, do you wear your mask? You can see I'm wearing mine deliberately because the statement we're making is that all these protocols are very important. We need to stay alive. We need to get our economy back. The cost to the nation has been very severe. And if we were to tally, we will all open our mouths wide, wondering, how we're going to get out of this. But don't let's forget the generosity of people. The COVID-19 fund has got more than 52 million because of generosity. I even saw that somebody sent 100 CDs and the person's name came in the newspapers. Maybe that's what you should do. Send some money, no matter how small to the fund is being used to do a lot of good things. 
But enough about my rantings. And let's get started. Shall we pray? Eternal God, you who are Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, here we are before your glorious throne to make music to you and to your children here on earth. Thank you so much for the ministering angels you have diffused into our midst. With the help of the Holy Spirit, Lord, we surrender our voices to you, our hearts to you, our minds to you. Use us as you've never done before, Lord. And in this period of hopelessness, in this period of despondency, in this period of trauma and suffering, let people recognize how wonderful you are, how caring you are. Use us to speak to them as you would. We thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.